America must recall the president. That's That's what this country needs, a good old-fashioned California-style recall election, <laughs> complete with Gary Coleman, porno actresses, and action film stars. And just like Schwarzenegger's predecessor here in California, George Bush is now so unpopular, he must defend his job against Russell Crowe. Because at this point, I want a leader who will throw a phone at somebody. In fact, let's have only phone throwers. Naomi Campbell can be the vice president. Now, I kid, but seriously, Mr. President, this job can't be fun for you anymore. There's no more money to spend. You used up all of that. You can't start another war because you also used up the army. And now, darn the luck, the rest of your term has become the Bush family nightmare, helping poor people. <laughs> yeah, listen to your mom. The cupboard's bare, the credit card's maxed out, and no one's speaking to you. Mission accomplished. Now it's time to do what you've always done best. Lose interest and walk away. Like... Like you did with your military service, and the oil company, and the baseball team. It's time. Time to move on and try the next fantasy job. How about cowboy or spaceman? <laughs> now, <laughs> now, I know what you're saying. You're saying that there's so many other things that you, as president, could involve yourself in. Please don't. <laughs> I know, I know, there's a lot left to do. There's a war with Venezuela and eliminating the sales tax on yachts, turning the space program over to the church, and... and Social Security to Fannie Mae, giving embryos the vote. But... But, sir... None of that is going to happen now. Why? Because you govern like Billy Joel drives. You've performed so poorly, I'm surprised you haven't given yourself a medal. <laughs> You're a catastrophe that walks like a man. Herbert Hoover was a shitty president, but even he never conceded an entire metropolis to rising water and snakes. On your watch, we've lost almost all of our allies, the surplus, four airliners, two trade centers, a piece of the Pentagon, and the city of New Orleans. <laughs> Maybe you're just not lucky. <laughs> I... I'm not saying you don't love this country. I'm just wondering how much worse it could be if you were on the other side. <laughs> so, yes, God does speak to you. And what he's saying is, take a hint. <laughs> All right, that's our show. I want to thank our fabulous panel.